Welcome to Wisconsin Lutheran Chapel and our first devotion of the second semester. We hope you had a, a great break from uh, school and that your semester is off to a great start. Today, I'd like to share some words with you from James chapter 3, verse 18. We read there, Peacemakers who sow in peace raise a harvest of righteousness. That word peacemaker has, well, I don't know if I could call it trauma, but certainly some childhood memories. Remember when one of my brothers or sisters maybe picked a quarrel with me or, or me with them? My mother's answer always was the same. Be a peacemaker. When you wanted to get back, when you wanted to get even, hearing that you should be a peacemaker wasn't an easy thing to do. But peace is something that certainly is a tremendous blessing. You know the peace and calm that you experience without all of the homework and assignments maybe during your semester break. But we look around our world and we see just how elusive that peace is. We don't have to look too much further than the politicians in our country to recognize that there is barely any civility, that this divide in our country comes along with some really unpeaceful language. The mocking, the belittling that we see certainly is not something that is going to bring benefits to our country later. It's why James gives us the advice that he does. It's great advice, isn't it? Peacemakers who sow in peace raise a harvest of righteousness. You see James's picture, don't you? He's talking about planting seeds and we don't get to see the results of those seeds often until harvest time. And so being a peacemaker in this world often doesn't bring the blessings that we would think, at least initially. When we feel like we need revenge, when someone else says something badly to us, we want to respond to get back at them. But James reminds us that being a peacemaker brings blessings later on. What do you think those blessings might be? Well, think about the harvest of righteousness that you and I reap from being peacemakers here in this earth. First of all, Jesus is honored. It's what our Savior wants. He wants us to live at peace with one another. It's reflective of our Savior's love. When we love others, it's because Jesus first loved us. And then it promotes harmony among God's people here in this world. In his letter to the Romans, the Apostle Paul said it this way, As far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. And why not? We have every reason to live at peace with others because we have the most important peace. Peace that affects our heart, our very soul. A peace that comes from knowing the forgiveness of sins that Jesus has won for us. Your place and my place in eternal peace is secured. And because of that, we can live at peace with one another no matter what's happening to us in this world. That's the harvest of righteousness that Jesus promises. That's the joy of being a peacemaker. Remember the peace that you have in Jesus and then live at peace with one another. Thanks for joining us for this devotion. We'll see you again next week. Remember, Jesus loves you.